Greetings, welcome to this new video about Thevenin's theorem. In this video, I will demonstrate the application of Thevenin's theorem through step-by-step -step example explanation. By following along carefully, you will gain a clear understanding of how to apply Thevenin's theorem to solve practical problems. Let's dive in and begin with the solve the problem number 12. Let's consider this network consisting of six resistors labeled R1 through R6 as well as one independent voltage source. The question is to calculate the value of Vx using Thevenin's theorem. Vx is the voltage across the resistor R4. Let's move on to the solution by applying the Thevenin's theorem between terminals A and B. We can replace this circuit with a voltage source in series with the resistor, which will be denoted as VTH and RTH. In our example, RTH is connected in series with R4, which plays the role of uh, the load. I will start first with the determination of the Thevenin's resistance. This step can be done by removing all independent sources in the circuit which means the voltage source will be replaced by a short circuit and the current sources will be replaced by an open circuit. The Thevenin resistance represents the equivalent resistance between terminals A and B when R4 is disconnected. That means RTH is equal to the parallel combination of R1 and R2 in series with R3 in parallel to the series combination of uh, R5 and uh, R6. And I will consider RA is the parallel combination of uh, R1 and R2 connected in series with R3. That means RA is equal to R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2 plus R3. And if we replace the resistors with their numerical values, we obtain RA is equal to 4.5 ohms. Now RTH is equal to the parallel combination of RA and R5 connected in series with the R6. Therefore, RTH can be calculated using uh, this uh, formula. RA times R5 plus R6 over RA plus R5 plus R6. And if we replace the resistors with their numerical values, we obtain RTH is equal to 2.57 ohms. After finishing the determination of the Thevenin's resistance, we proceed to calculate the Thevenin's voltage. The Thevenin's voltage is basically the open circuit voltage calculated between terminal A and B when R4 is disconnected. VTH is equal to VOC. VOC is the open circuit voltage. In order to calculate the open circuit voltage VOC, I will apply the nodal analysis method. And I will consider I A I N is the current through the resistor R1, I2 is the current through the resistor R2, and I3 is the current through the resistor R3, and I4 is the current through the resistor R5. By applying Kirchhoff's current law at node A, we can write I3 minus I4 is equal to 0. The current flows in this direction is equal to 0 because we have an open circuit. Now by applying Kirchhoff's current law at node 1, we can write I1 minus I2 minus I3 is equal to 0. Now, according to Ohm's law, I1 is equal to Vs minus V1 over R1 and I2 is equal to V1 over R2 and I3 is equal to V1 minus Va over R3 and I4 is equal to Va over R5 plus R6. Now, by substituting C and D in 1, we can write V1 minus VA over R3 minus VA over R5 plus R6 is equal to 0. 
And if we replace the resistors with their numerical values and we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain 2 times V1 minus 3 times VA is equal to 0. Now, by substituting A, B, and C in 2, we can write Vs minus V1 over R1 minus V1 over R2 minus V1 minus VA over R3 is equal to 0. And if we replace the voltage and the resistance with their numerical values and we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain 45 minus 6 times V1 plus 2 times VA is equal to 0. Now, by performing 4 plus 3 times 3, we derive one equation in terms of uh, VA. That means VA is equal to 45 over 7 is equal to 6.43 volt. VTH is equal to VOC is equal to VA is equal to 6.43 volt. Now, in order to calculate the voltage Vx across the resistor R4, I'm going to apply the division, the voltage division rule. That means Vx is equal to R4 over R4 plus R3 times R4, sorry, uh, Vx is equal to R4 over R4 plus RTH times VTH. And if we replace R4, RTH and VTH with their numerical values, we obtain Vx is equal to 4.5 volt. After completing the calculations, I perform a simulation using SPICE to verify our results. Now let's proceed to the SPICE environment. Here is our network's drone and SPICE simulator. This is, is the original circuit and this is, is the Thevenance equivalent circuit. I connect here a voltmeter in order to measure the voltage Vx across the resistor R4 and here a voltmeter in order to measure the voltage the voltage across the resistor R4 in the equivalent Thevenin's circuit. Let's move on to analysis. This uh, analysis calculate nodal voltages. We can see here that the voltage Vx in the original circuit is equal to 4.5 volt and Vx in the Thevenin's equivalent circuit is equal to 4.5 volt. From the simulation, it becomes clear that the voltage Vx is similar when using both the original circuit and the Thevenin equivalent. This similarity validates the correctness of our calculations. All right, thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, do not hesitate to contact me by email or leave a comment under this video and I will answer you as soon as possible. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share it. See you next time in another video about Thevenin's theorem. Take care and bye-bye.